Mm, I really don't have an intro for this one. Usually I try to start out with a joke, but uh, this one really just writes itself. This is an earnings model for Young Living, and they're trying to say it's not a pyramid scheme when it literally looks like a pyramid. Oh, Jesus. Oh, ho, ho. when you realize that Duterra has their own merch. Imagine being the person who's so unaware of themselves to buy something like this just so they can project to other people that you're actively being scammed when you're really thinking you're making money. Like, I just, just think about how naive you have to be to buy something like this. Oh, my God. I don't want to be involved with any MLM companies or Epicure. I even listed myself as can't go and removed myself as best as I could. I really don't appreciate you changing my response to going. Uh, this message was not necessary whatsoever. Silently remove yourself next time. Wait a second, hold up. The person you're talking to is upset because you listed her as going to an MLM thing when she didn't want to go and didn't want to be involved in the first place and somehow it's her fault for being upset? Are you serious? Mm-mm-mm. No wonder no one wants to buy your fake products. Hi, I hope you're doing good. I wanted to connect with you about my business. It may or may not be for you, but let me know if you're open for a chat. Ho oh, ho ho, that is, that is one way to respond. <laughs> Matter of fact, if you're confused about what an MLM is and you still don't understand after all these episodes, uh, go ahead and check out John Oliver's video about it. It's pretty good. It's also pretty entertaining. You, life goals. MLMs. <laughs> In all seriousness, MLMs really mess up people's lives. Like, you join these companies, you buy their products, and they promise that you can sell them, and when you can't, you're stuck. You're stuck with thousands of dollars of useless stuff that nobody wants, and it ruins your life because you think you're starting your own business when in reality, you aren't. You're wasting your time. So if you're stuck in that right now, you're in college, and you see that one poster about making 500 bucks a week by selling some Sensi, don't do it. It's a scam. It's a full-blown scam. Oh my goodness, you should just stick with it. I've read so many negative reviews in this product, but honestly, 90% of these negative commenters don't even give the product a chance to work. Two weeks in and my hair was falling out. A few weeks in and it killed my hair. Blah, blah, blah. First off, as a Monet user of five months, the product is great. Like anything, you have to give a product a chance to work. Did I lose more hair than normal? <laughs> yeah, but was it falling out in chunks? No. You know what? I'm just gonna stop you there because just, wow, you typed that out. So literally you admitted that Monet made you lose your hair and you're trying to tell other people that it's okay and good for your hair. Literally the rest of the, uh, of the text after she said that is her justifying why people lose hair in showers and like what uh, shedding period is and all that stuff. I'm like, no, 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 no. No one loses clumps of hair in the shower when they're using shampoo. I'm sure everybody else has, you know, dead hair and stuff like that when they're washing out, correct? I'm sure everybody has that, but I've never put shampoo through my hair and then come out with less hair. That's, that's never happened, yet that's happening to girls who use Monet. You see? Do you get it yet? I feel like I just witnessed a miracle. I met Brenda yesterday at a coffee shop, and she was slouched in her wheelchair. She was in so much pain, mostly in her hip, which is why she was put in the chair a few months ago. She wheeled herself into the meeting tonight in more pain than ever because she flipped out of her chair last night when it caught on unlevel ground. At the end of the meeting tonight, I gave her two Plexus Ease capsules, and we were chatting about it for 45 minutes, and when she started wiggling her leg and saying how her knee wasn't hurting, and then to everyone's amazement, she stood straight up, and she exclaimed that she hadn't stood straight up in months. Watch her precious reaction. I didn't video her walking out of the room. She was so proud and happy. Happy. Check it out. That's that's a wonderful story, but did everyone clap? Because that is so fake. That is so fake. No way did you give this girl two of your placebo sugar pills and watched her stand up after having knee and hip pain. That did not happen. Stop it. No one's buying your supplements. It's not a pyramid scheme. If you actually do your research, we don't hold inventory. We don't have sales quotas. We don't pay for fees. Pyramid schemes have all of that. A matter of fact, you probably work for a pyramid scheme. 
You're at the bottom of a pyramid being the hardworking employee and at the top of the pyramid is the CEO, where the chances that you'll become CEO are pretty slim. That's a pyramid scheme. What I do? You can outbank anybody. Yes, I do work for an MLM and yes, some are pyramid schemes, but not all of them are. Okay, alright, there's a lot here to unpack, so I'm gonna try to try to sum, like summarize this into the smallest form as I can, uh, so you guys can understand the argument that's being placed here. Alright, so I'll, I'll go ahead and give you the give you the rundown. Hey Dale, I really think that you're working for a pyramid scheme. No way are you a true employee of that company. You literally bought the products. They already made money off of you. Uh, no you! Top home remedies for a snake bite? Uh, copperhead? Let me just start off by reminding everyone of our group rules. Do not recommend Dr. ER Hospital. It'll have you removed from the group. This is only for homeopathic and natural solutions. So you want everybody in your group to die? I got you. Got you. Especially copperhead bite? Yeah, yeah. You're, you should go to a doctor. Your essential oils will do nothing. A whole lot of nothing. Did you know that in Plexus you can will your spouse, children, parents, etc. your Plexus business and they will receive residual income that you've been receiving? You cannot do that with a corporate 9 to 5 job and with Plexus your family's future can be set and the best part is that it's only costing $34.95 for this opportunity. Hashtag boss babe! Imagine, <laughs> could you imagine one of your family members, oh, knock on wood, passing away and the only thing you get is their MLM and 10 bucks of residual income <laughs> that the company owes you. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh God. That is building a future. Really, that is so pretentious. Oh my God. Never compare your life to someone else's and never compare your perceived failure to someone's perceived success. Your success is right around the other side of what you think is failure, but you might not be succeeding at finding out what doesn't work, so don't stop short. Maybe you should just stop stopping. This post is very true. All of that makes sense. It's very true to not pay attention to others and try to compare your successes to somebody else's. Don't do that. But two things can be true at the same time this can be true and also an understanding of when to stop trying to when to put something to rest to close that book and try something else because mlms you won't get far yeah that looks like a pyramid scheme to me okay sweetie maybe come back when you know when a pyramid scheme is those are illegal and we have an a plus rating with the better business bureau they don't give those to illegal companies have a great sunday mm. y'all can y'all taste it it's a uh, it's salt. That's that's what that is. Remember to copy and paste the following, then watch the interest roll in, okay? You got this. Hey bro, I've been scrolling through your Instagram and noticed that you've been exercising a lot. All right. I'm gonna stop you there. You meant to delete the copy and paste part, one. My Instagram post was over two years ago, two. And on behalf of everyone you haven't spoken to in years and sent this to, go fuck yourself. Um, all of my Monet needs to go ASAP. One dollar. <laughs> oh my god, my $28 meal. <laughs> Thanks, paparazzi. Hold up, wait. Is that a, is that a Cheddar Bay? Yo, are you? <laughs> Whoever posted this is flexing with Red Lobster. This is Red Lobster. <laughs> Yo, score. Wow, all uh, right, okay. Not only is this a pure romance uh, SUV, but it has a it has a furry on it, so it just it can't get any better. It just can't. <laughs> okay, everyone, one last time. So this is the business model of our you know of alliance. You feel me? So here you go. You have the CEO, the managers, and the employees. It's just it's just how that works. Okay. Oh oh, we have a question in the back. So what's your question, sir? Yeah. Hi. Uh, my name is uh, Billy Bob, and um that. This isn't really a question. That just that looks like a pyramid. Is this a is this a pyramid scheme? Uh no, no, it's not a pyramid at all. It's clearly just a triangle of people. That's what this is. It's not a pyramid. No. What's up everybody? It's your boy Aileris, aka Panda Daddy, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, let me know in the comments down below. And leave a like if you like the video. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe, fam. And if you're old, make sure you hit that bell so you get my notifications every time. If you particularly like r slash anti-MLM and you want another episode, let me know in the comments down below. And if you want to recommend any Reddit videos, gaming videos, or horror stories videos, let me know in the comments down below as well. I'm open to almost everything and I want to hear what you guys are interested in. And as always, we gotta thank the Patreon supporters, so thank you to Finn. 
Lucy, Mia, Pro Cookie, The Caustic, and Unholy Trio. Without their support, we can't do what we do here, and it's greatly appreciated. And if you want to help support the channel in any way, there's two links in the description, one to my Patreon and one to my merch store, and both dollars go directly into the channel to make sure we can maintain what's happening here. And as always, stay zesty.